So you want to become a cloud engineer, but you have no idea on where to start. And you know that cloud engineers are one of the most highly needed skills in the growing tech industry as more and more businesses are moving into the cloud. Today, we're diving into how to become a cloud engineer, and I'm going to be giving you a complete step-by-step -step roadmap. Firstly, I need to give you a bit of context because I've been a cloud engineer for the past seven years, mainly focusing on working with AWS. I also hold the AWS Associate and AWS Professional Level certifications and I've helped all types of businesses adopt and build cloud solutions from small startups to big global enterprises. I transitioned into a cloud engineer from being a front-end developer but you don't actually need a coding background to become a cloud engineer and I'll tell you exactly why in just a moment. First off we need to understand what exactly is a cloud engineer. Now in simple terms cloud engineering is the practice of using various technologies to deliver cloud computing solutions. Now, cloud engineers work with cloud service providers like AWS, GCP, and Microsoft Azure Cloud to facilitate everything from applications, data storage, to complex machine learning models. Here are the roadmap steps to becoming a cloud engineer. Step one is to get the fundamentals right. Understanding the fundamentals of IT and computing is crucial. This knowledge serves as the building blocks upon which all your cloud skills will be built on. And here is why each one of these is crucial. Now, firstly, we have networking. Knowing how data moves across the internet is crucial for setting up cloud infrastructures. Secondly, we have operating systems. Understanding how systems operate is essential for tasks like server management. Next, we have virtualization. This concept is at the heart of cloud computing. It enables multiple users to share resources without impacting each other's data. And we also have databases. Given that much of what goes into the cloud is data, understanding databases is a non-negotiable. There are some amazing resources on YouTube covering these topics, and I'm also sharing these bite-sized cloud concepts in my weekly newsletter, which you can sign up below for free. Step two in our cloud engineer roadmap is to learn to code. Now, coding isn't mandatory, but having programming skills will give you a considerable edge. For example, if you want to learn infrastructure as code and use Terraform, and you already know a little bit of Python or a little bit of TypeScript, then learning Terraform is going to be an absolute breeze for you. I've come across projects where where I need to use Python to automate some scripts. So I recommend learning Python first as your programming language, or at least knowing the fundamentals of it. Step three is where the fun begins, diving into the cloud. Cloud is the place to be right now. It's a booming industry. Now, don't be intimidated by the amount of services that you need to learn because we've all been there. It can look complicated, but remember you already have a foundation thanks to step number one. Knowing how databases, networking, virtualization works will give you a leg up when you're actually diving into the cloud services. Now you can pick any of these three, AWS, Azure, or GCP. AWS is the market leader and has the most customers, and a lot of startups also go and use AWS as default. I also use AWS as the one that I recommend the most, and then over time, you can look into becoming a multi-cloud engineer because a lot of businesses are now looking to go into hybrid cloud, which is mixing up cloud like AWS and Azure together. Start by learning cloud fundamentals, why cloud exists, why it's needed, the business benefits, and also in to cloud services. Now, before the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a free 12 week bootcamp that you can do to start learning and becoming a cloud engineer. So stay tuned for that. Step number four is to get certified. Now, certifications are like the golden ticket in the cloud world, whether it's the AWS Certified Solutions Architect or the Google Associate Cloud Engineer. These certifications lend you credibility that you know the contents of your chosen cloud, but they don't confirm that you can actually do the job. It's great for your CV and it helps you get interviews. I actually have a cloud certification roadmap video on my channel, so you can check that out below after this video. And I definitely recommend sitting the foundation level certification exam of one of those three cloud providers, especially if you're completely new to cloud in general. So getting certified isn't just enough, therefore you need to start building hands-on projects, which is step number five. And here are some project ideas to get your hands dirty. First project that you can do is set up a virtual machine because you can utilize your understanding of operating systems and virtualization. The second project that you can build is a cloud storage solution. Create a cloud-based storage system implementing your knowledge of databases and storage. The next project that you can build is deploy a web app. Use your coding skills to develop a simple web app in HTML or React and deploy it using cloud services. You can use free tiers offered by cloud service providers to practice these projects. Now for each of these projects that I've recommended, you need to firstly build 
build it using the console and then rebuild it using infrastructure as code such as Terraform. Terraform is widely used across the cloud industry, so it's a tool that you will need to learn. You should also check out the Cloud Resume Challenge, where you build a CV in the cloud using a number of different services, along with CICD and cloud best practices. It will also give you a taste of what it's like being a cloud engineer. Step number six is to network and join communities. And the best place to do that is on Twitter, or also now known as X. X has millions of tech enthusiasts who love talking all things tech. And you should definitely join and start sharing your progress to become a cloud engineer. Look to use the hashtag 100 days of cloud and you'll meet people from all over the world starting their cloud journeys every single day and putting in a 100 days straight of learning the cloud one day at a time. Sharing your work and progress is invaluable for gaining insights and keeping an eye out for job opportunities. Now, once you are certified and have some projects under your belt, it's time for step number seven, which is when you are ready to start applying for jobs or freelance gigs. And the best way to do this is via LinkedIn. Now, whilst you're sharing your progress on X, I also recommend that you create a weekly blog and post it on LinkedIn covering what you've learned and built this week and do this every single week. This is a great reference for future employers to check out your cloud journey and your skills. Also try and get into freelance gigs on Fiverr and Upwork and the key is just to get some real world project experience. It doesn't matter if it's part-time, full-time, freelancing, just get into the job market, take the first job that you're offered that you can do but you can also be a little bit more challenged because that will speed up your learning. Step number eight in our cloud engineer roadmap is diving deeper and specializing. I recommend specializing after a few years of working as a cloud engineer. Once you are exposed to different industries, the project, tools, and customers, this is where you'll get a great idea on what you like doing as a cloud engineer and what you don't like doing. You can specialize in cloud security, DevOps, or machine learning in the cloud. Now, I recommend picking one route and sticking with it, and you also make way more money if you're a specialist as it helps you stand out from the crowd. Step number nine is to never stop learning. Learning. The cloud landscape is ever changing. There are new tools, services coming out all of the time, especially with AI. Now don't get discouraged, keep learning and consider advanced or professional level certifications as they help give you a deeper understanding of your chosen cloud. Earlier in this video, I said that I will share a free 12 week bootcamp that you can do for beginners wanting to become a cloud engineer. AWS offers a program called AWS Freestart, which is a free 12 week training program covering the AWS fundamental. It's an excellent an opportunity for the people who are serious about getting a career in cloud computing with AWS. Now, AWS Restart is a cohort-based training program that prepares you for careers in the cloud and connects you to potential employers. Now, you don't actually need a technology background to apply. The program is free and it's focused on helping the unemployed or the underemployed individuals launch a new career in the cloud. Through coursework, hands-on labs, and using real-world scenarios, you can gain the technical skills you need for an entry to mid-level cloud role. AWS Restart also provides you with the professional skills training to prepare you for actual employer meetings and job interviews. I know the AWS Restart is really good and that's why I recommend it because I know people that have gone onto this program and they've learned a lot and also got their first cloud role. You learn and build with Linux, Python, networking, security, databases, automation, and core AWS skills. Find out more, all you need to do is type AWS Restart in Google and you'll know exactly how to apply and just generally find out more about the program itself. And there you have it, a complete step-by-step -step roadmap to becoming a cloud engineer. This field is ever-evolving, making a dynamic and rewarding career choice. Remember, your journey doesn't end once you get a job. It's a field of continuous learning and growth. If this video was helpful, do me a favor, hit that like button, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. Drop any questions that you have in the comment section down below, and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.